a variety of other conditions, including aging. Yes, that's true. You've heard it right. Aging, the wonder drug might be an understatement. Okay, listen. Um, because celebrities and all these people that you say look young, all of these people that have money to it, use and have all of these things and actually know this knowledge. So the regular pos populace thinks it's crazy or this or that, when the truth is you just don't have enough money to, to know about it, right? Or you're not talking to the right doctors, right? So, you know, let's stop gatekeeping things, stop thinking they're crazy and just listen. Um, the history of metformin goes back hundreds of years in Europe. The medic med medicinal herb Galaga officinalis was popular for digestive health and used to treat urinary problems and other ailments. Then in 1918, a scientist discovered that one of its ingredients, guanidine, could lower blood sugar. Then in 1918, a scientist discovered that one of those in ingredients, oh sorry, could lower blood sugar. Uh, medicines containing uh, guanidine, such as metformin and phenformin, were developed to treat diabetes. This is the medication that's largely expensive. This is the medication that's gatekeeped from uh, those who don't have uh, 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 health insurance and for people who don't have money. Why, guys? Because it could help a lot. Um, uh, but they fell out of favor due to serious side effects caused by phenoformin, right? And by the discovery of insulin. This is side effects by phenoformin. Metformin was discovered decades late, rediscovered decades later and approved as treatment for diabetes in Europe in 1950. It wasn't until 1999 that the FDA approved it in, for use in the US. It has since become the most widely prescribed medication for people with diabetes who cannot control their blood sugar through diet and exercise alone. Literally, literally turns blood insulin into something good in your body, okay? Um, a lot of rich people, a lot of famous people will take metformin and then eat sugary items or not be on their diet, okay? Yes, that sounds terrible, but that is the truth. People will take metformin and then live crazy if they have money. This is how this is how the world is. It's literally like Hunger Games sometimes. This is the truth. That's what's happening. Um, for decades, we've known that metformin does more than just help lower blood sugar in people with diabetes. It offer, also offers cardiovascular benefits, including lower rates of death due to cardiovascular disease, and it helps people with diabetes lose excess weight. Metformin may also have health benefits for people who don't have diabetes. Doctors have long prescribed it off-label, that is, to treat conditions outside its approved use, right? This is, this is what celebrities are doing, including pre-diabetes. Gastrointestinal disease. Pregnant women often develop uh, elevated blood sugar and, re and that returns normal after delivery, but metformin can help control blood sugar during pregnancy. To lose weight, people often have elevated blood sugar and use this medication to lower their elevated blood sugar. Uh, polycy polycystic over ovary syndrome. I've had that. Um, I've had... Uh, uh, heat posks before or, or something like it. This disorder tends to affect young women whose ovaries develop multiple cysts. Um, menstrual irregularities and fertility problems are common. Although the results of clinical studies are mixed, metformin has been prescribed for years to women with this. Weight gain from antipsychotic medications. Antipsychotics are powerful medications prescribed for psychiatric diseases such as schizophrenia. One common side effect is significant weight gain. Metformin may lessen weight gain among people taking those type of drugs. Bam, bam, guys. Listen to me. I'm not lying when I tell you these things. Um, it's true. My mother has diabetes. I don't care what celebrities are doing, but facts are nice. Exactly, exactly. I want to be skinny. I'm just gaining more and more weight. I'm not even eating calories. Like I don't know what's going on in my body, but my hormones are so fucked up. I can't lose weight. I'm working out. I'm eating 1100 calories. I'm still gaining weight. I'm literally gaining weight. I don't know what to do. I need medication and I don't want to take diet pills, but I'm like 
at my wits end on this. It doesn't matter what you think I look like. I know how I feel and I feel fucking a lot. Stress, yes, totally. Um, in addition, researchers are investigating the potential of metformin to lower the risk of cancer in people with type 2 diabetes. These cancers include breast, colon, and prostate, lowering the risk of dementia and stroke. Studies have shown, have noted less cognitive decline and lower rate of dementia, as well as lower rate of stroke among people with diabetes taking metformin compared to those who have not been taking metformin. Slow aging, prevent age-related disease and increasing lifespan. Preliminary studies suggest that metformin might actually slow the aging and increase life expectancy by improving the body's overall responsiveness to insulin, antioxidant effects, and improving blood vessel health. Bam, bam. Wow. No, it's not RC2. It could be, but I don't think so. Um, uh, what side effects? What are the side effects? The safety profile metformin is quite good. The side effects include nausea, stomach upset, or diarrhea. These tend to be very mild. More serious effects are extremely rare. They include allergy reactions and a condition called lactic acidosis, a buildup of lactic acid in the bloodstream. The risk for this is higher among people with significant kidney disease, so doctors tend to avoid prescribing metformin for those type of people. The bottom line is that metformin is first of line treatment for type 2 diabetes according to current diabetes guidelines it's relatively inexpensive and it's potentially potential side effects are well understood okay see hi oh you're wet you're super wet dog you're so wet right so this 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 drug yeah yeah it's a it's a wonder drug so this drug this drug is in this book lifespan uh, and there's two other drugs that I learned about in this book as well um, that are are in in combination are what people are using what hi you want to get up here come on come on anytime I'm on the stream I'm learning new stuff I love that um. Let me see. Well, let me see. Let me see. I mean, I've already done NAD, so that's cool. Uh, la, la, la. Hold on. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Is one of them an injection? I don't know. I've never had it before. Who's the author? Um. So this book, and I really encourage you guys because this is like, this is the biology of of, of being being healthy okay this is the biology of extending your your immune system and your health these are the things you should be learning about we've lived in a, a, a crazy time we've lived in a pandemic um it, it this is a time where people are suffering from long-term effects from the the pandemic from covid our world is ever shrinking we're getting more and more ailments more and more diseases this is the time to get yourself interested in science. This is the time to get knowledgeable on good, safe products. This is the time to be aware of what's actually happening on a physical level within your body, okay? This is what you should be doing when you're bored. When you're bored, you should study yourself. You should read these things, advance your brain, giving yourself a little bit of time to, to uh have some discovery and curiosity is really good for you you'll find that by doing these things by trying to learn more things your mood will get better your your ultimate life will become happier your brain wants to learn your body wants to be healthy give it that chance um so it's called lifespan and it's why oh, we age yes. oh yes oh yes 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 thank you van killen so it's called Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have to, have to by David A. Sinclair. David and A. Sinclair is it. What's happening? Another and other account, if they can check the science section in Discord, I posted as many series from... <gasps> Stop! Thank you so much, Garth. I'm definitely going to check that out. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I don't know who here lives in America, but we always say people are getting older every day. Uh, the average life expectancy is is older. People live to 100. 
imagine living in the rest of the world. It is only Western, Western society that lives older every day. Uh, it's only Western society that have people aging to 100 years. Most of the people are dying at 40 and 60 still. The rest of the world and third world countries don't have the luxuries we have. Um, they so so don't take your health as an ignorance because most of the people in in today's world are breathing in carcinogens and suffering and have lung problems and ailments. Um, so we're very lucky in in these type of um, economies. We're very lucky in these type of of countries to uh, to have the benefits that we have. So remember that. Remember that. Remember that. Take care of your health. Appreciate it. Love it. Toodle bang, Brazil. No shit, Josh. On average, our lifespan has been dropping for like four years here in the USA. Look it up. What, like, why is everything a fucking contradiction? Yeah, our lifespan has been dropping, but we are still living longer today than we have before. Okay. So what? The lifespan has dropped down. We are still living longer right now. Right now. Okay. So like, why? Like, why? Like, why? Why? Like, it's super fucking annoying, bro. Like, oh my fucking God. Like, you can't say anything. You can't say anything on this fucking platform without somebody bitching and coming back with like, oh, well, this, this and this. Like sometimes you guys are so annoying and it's I don't know. It's just really fucking annoying. Like you can't just have anything without somebody saying some stupid other fucking jerk off thing. Like I wish I could be nice. I wish I could be calm and always respond in a normal way. But Like it's exhausting how fucking annoying it is that nobody can just shut the fuck up sometimes. Like I didn't ask for you to like Come back here and let me just like puke some bullshit on you. Oh my God. I even try and ignore it. Oh my God. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like literally getting online every day. And then you just like see everyone that's just like, you're just like, today's a beautiful day. And someone's like, well, yeah, it's fucking clouds in the sky. Clouds are fucking gross. You know, it's just like super annoying. Like, okay, cool, there's clouds on the side. Doesn't mean it's not a beautiful day. What if I like cloudy cloudy days? Like, what the fuck? People are contra contradictory by default now. It's super irritating. That's what it is, right? That's what it is. Not a cloud in the sky today. <laughs> what does that mean, Dave, top 25%? And you're normal. See, there you go, Chris Legrand. What? Why are you saying am I normal? What? What did I have to oh, yes. say about oh, yes. myself? Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, Yancy the man. Thank you for the five good subs. I am a neuroscientist major, and my study is medicine as given. Me. It's given me a clear idea that it's our connection with God. <laughs> 